Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Temptation to start this video with hello everyone is uh, what's very real. <laughs> really sorry Rachel if you ever to watch this I don't mean to offend <laughs> because that was really bad but anyway hi welcome. Today we are trying a foundation application technique which I saw Rachel aka Rach Loves here on YouTube do and I was super intrigued. She used a powder brush to apply her foundation and I questioned it. I questioned it for coverage, I questioned it for finish, I questioned it for pretty much everything. <laughs> but you can't knock it till you try it. So I really wanted to give it a go, show you guys up close and personal, see what it does for my skin. Because she always looks flawless, but she also has pretty even skin herself. At least it looks like on camera. I don't know her in real life, so all I know is on camera you can see all my unevenness. <laughs> and she pretty much looks flawless without foundation. So I wanted to put this to the test. I wanted to see if it would cover up my redness, my freckles, everything like that. And yeah, she used a powder brush. She used this exact powder brush in one of her videos and I wanna see what it does for my skin. But before I zoom you guys in and we get all close and personal, if you're new to my channel and you're just now coming across some of my videos, welcome. I hope you enjoy. And if you do, I'm trying to grow this little family that we've got going on here already. I'd love it if you would join. You just need to click the red subscribe button down below and the bell button that'll notify you when I upload. I'm here twice a week, every week, apart from last Wednesday, which I need to apologize for. I'm really sorry. I had a video ready, but it's taken me a lot longer to edit than what I thought it would. In fact, this one's probably gonna be edited before that one goes up, so. Oh, I'm really sorry, but it is coming, okay. <laughs> but yeah, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. If you like me testing these kind of techniques that people are showing, don't forget to leave a little like on the video. I have a few other techniques that I really want to try. For example, Jackie Ina's putting on powder before the foundation, which I'm really questioning that one. And also Tati did a video with Scott Barnes and I thought I'd do a video about like what I learned from watching that video. Does that make sense? Because <laughs> he does some crazy stuff. I don't know. I just want to, I just want to test it and see if it would work for me. But yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, give a thumbs up. But without further ado, let's zoom you guys on in and see what this powder brush is gonna do to my foundation. Okay, I better put my hair back. <laughs> okay, so now we are prepped. Put my primers on, my excess primers, which I use three. <laughs> I just like it, okay, don't judge me. So for my foundation, I'm gonna use one of my favorites, which I know how it performs, and it's the Revolution Pro Foundation Drops. So what kind of concerns me about the way she applies foundation is she puts it like all over her hand and I understand the concept it's to warm up the product so it's really gonna like melt into the skin but it's just so messy <laughs> but I'm gonna do as she does and I'm just gonna put a few drops in my hand this feels so wrong <laughs> I've done about three drops there the concept of this is so you don't use too much foundation so I've just added a few drops and I'm just gonna like spread it all over the hand like she does and I'm just gonna leave it there for a few seconds and then what she does is she goes in with her powder brush and she just taps it into the foundation on her hand and then starts kind of stippling it. I don't know how I'm gonna hold my mirror now. <laughs> it's gonna be so awkward. Okay right, so I'm just gonna kind of dab the top of the bristles in. Get a nice coat of the foundation on there and let's just... hmm I cannot see a lot of coverage going on. Let's dab a little bit more roughly in there. She said this allows you to control the coverage, how much product you're using. I just feel like, although I'm using less product, I feel like I'm gonna have to go in with more product because I've used a lot of what was on my hand there. And I feel like this in itself is just wasting a lot of product, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna try and sweep up a little bit more of that because it's just going on my hand. <laughs> So this is the before and the after. As you can see, it's evened me out like a tiny little bit, but it hasn't covered anything, really. I do like the feeling of this, because this is a very soft brush, so it feels nice, but I don't know. So there's pretty much no getting the rest of this off my hand. It's pretty much just all over. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more. That's the thing, she doesn't really explain how much she puts on her hand or anything, so I don't really know. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more. Again, just kind of spreading it out so we get some warmth to the product. Put it a little bit more liberally on there this time to see if we can get more coverage. Just gonna try layering this up a little. The good thing is, is that this isn't giving me streaks. I thought it would give streaks to the foundation, but it really hasn't, so that's good news. I have been able to build it up, which is good, and it doesn't feel like I've got anything on my skin, so it's created a very nice light layer of foundation. I just don't know whether this is really practical. I feel like if you really wanna like spend time on your makeup, then yes. But if you just wanna kinda slap it on, personally, I'd just go with a sponge. <laughs> because if you're using a sponge, you're getting like a, ooh, I went in with quite a lot of product there. You're getting a light layer of the foundation anyway, but it gives you a lot more coverage than what this initially does. 
Again, I feel like I need to go in with some more drops on my hand. I'm like running out of this foundation. I swear I bought it back up somewhere, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> oh my, I just realized this has a crack in the bottom. Okay, gotta be careful with this then. <laughs> Ugh. Problem of having glass bottles and being a very messy person. Okay, going in with another layer. This is a very kind of a dewy fluid foundation. So I don't know how this would work for more matte formulas because it may kind of like stiffen up and not allow you to blend it that well. Obviously, I'm only speaking hypotheticals, but I imagine it to be a lot harder to blend than this foundation. Why I decided to do my brows before I did my foundation today? I don't know, because I'm just making my life hard now. I don't have a precise application. Oh God. Find it a little difficult on my forehead. And I don't have the smallest forehead either. So I'm trying to like use every last piece of this foundation that's been on my hand. As far as finish goes, I'm actually very impressed. It hasn't added streaks as I said, and it's given like an even coverage. And also the finish hasn't been compromised or anything. It looks really nice on the skin. I am gonna have to go around my eyebrows with a different brush because it's just not getting the precision that I like. But I'll probably just do that with concealer just to make it a little bit easier. This brush is not getting around those brows. <laughs> so this is how my skin looks by using the technique. As you can see, there's no brush strokes or anything like that and the foundation is laying nicely on my skin. I just feel like this really shears out the coverage because this foundation does have actually decent amount of coverage, usually medium to full coverage for me. But as you can see, you can still see like my freckles and things coming through. So I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I'm gonna go and finish off the rest of my face and then we'll be right back to discuss my final thoughts. All right, you guys. So let's talk about this technique <laughs> and what I think about it. So personally, I don't think it's for me. I get the concept and I get the idea that, you know, you're warming up the product on your hand so it's nice and ready to absorb into the skin and that you can control layers and that you get a really nice sheer application with it and you're not using a lot of product on your face. But personally, I just feel like I didn't get enough coverage with this technique. If you've got pretty much like flawless skin already and you don't need a lot of coverage and you don't need a lot of evening out, then this would work really well for you. But because I have like redness and I have freckles and everything like that, it just didn't give me the coverage that I needed, that I yearned for. <laughs> I also felt like I used more product and I wasted a lot of product because it was on my hand and then I just ended up wiping it off with a makeup wipe. So for me, it's just a no-go. My skin does look pretty good, but I can still see like my freckles and discoloration coming through even though I did two layers of foundation, which usually with this foundation, I don't really have to do more than one layer. This is no shade to Rachel or anything like that. I love her videos and subscribed. She's a very thorough reviewer and she makes really good videos on YouTube, so I highly recommend her channel. But that is what these videos are for, to see if they're gonna work for other people, because not everything works for everyone. And I wanna test out all the techniques that are out there. I wanna learn. That is something that I love about YouTube. You can learn new techniques that you would have never thought of, and you can find new products that you'd never try, and and you can, you know, YouTube is an amazing thing and I just wanted to test this out for myself to see if it would work because she just looks so good whenever she does it. She makes it look easy. How do you do it, girl? <laughs> but yeah, that is it for this video. If you want me to try the other techniques like the Jackie Aina powder before foundation, Scott Barnes's techniques, then please leave a thumbs up on the video. It helps me out a lot because then I know what you guys want to see and that's the most important thing. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button down below so you get notified of all of my future uploads. And yeah. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then, bye guys. Something about my hair today is just looking so wrong and I can't work out what it is. <laughs> Please, hair gods, help me. Is my camera crooked? It's, it's full on crooked, oh my God. One second. Okay, I think that's better now. Are we straight? We look kind of straight, okay. My battery's dying. <laughs> and you can find more and you can find new products that you would thought and you can find new products that you would uh.